Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Judy here, and I've got a little bag here that's got some really yummy craft stuff in it. Um, I had forgot about a craft store that I used to go to to get all of my supplies for my son's uh, Pinewood Derby cars for scouts. And I was thinking the other night, and I'm like, oh my goodness, and I had asked my husband, I said, what's that shop that I used to go get that stuff from? So... He had said, well, it's a Schaefer's Hobby Shop. And I'm like, oh, that's right. And because they've got tons of craft stuff there, just like a Michaels or, you know, the Joann's and such. So Hobby Lobby. So, um, and it's a family owned business, which is really great. But they have, they really specialize in beads big time. And we're talking about, they have like cases of beads, like semi-precious stones and things. So um, I could have spent a fortune in there. So I went there and I'm going to show you what I got. I was pretty excited about it. I'm wanting to start doing some uh, <clears throat> wire wrapping and make some rings and necklaces and such. So um, I thought it best that I go there because I've been spending a lot on beads and stuff, which I've gotten some really good sales, don't get me wrong, but I was really wanting some, you know, some special type ones that were a little bit nicer in my mind um than the ones that i've gotten i went a little bit step up so <clears throat> before i show you those i'm going to show you what else i got while i was there um i got these watermark media bookmarks they were on sale for a dollar so i went ahead and got those uh it's for with you know wet media so i'm going to play with those and i have a couple ideas um and then i also got <clears throat> these really cool fingernail files <laughs> Um, that were at the, uh, where you check out, which I thought was really cute. This one, um, is, says, isn't life grape, which I thought was really super cute. Little wine bottle. And I love wine. Um, and then this one says, my birthstone is a wine cork, <laughs> which I really got a big kick out of that one. All right. <clears throat> so I got those and then I bought, um, some beads. These are these long bugle beads. Um, one of my besties, Lisa with Sirius Hecka. That's her channel name. She's in the midst of making a journal and she was in need of these and also some black ones. So she knew I was going there and I told her I would look and see and they did. And so I've got those to send to her for her journal that she's working on. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and then I've got me uh, some 18 gauge uh, wire because from watching some videos on YouTube and stuff, I've noticed that uh, they say that, uh, like, I think it's like 16 and 18, um, and there was another one, maybe 20, anyway, are good for making, you know, the wraps with wrapping around the, the for the pendants and for the rings and stuff. So I went ahead and I got the 18 gauge while I was there. <clears throat> and now for the really, really cool stuff. And hopefully you'll be able to see it through the uh, the package. But this first one is a Chinese turquoise. And this one I am wanting to make into a ring. In fact, I'm going to take them out here and show you. because <clears throat> Excuse me. I just think you'll be able to see it a little bit better. And then I can just put them back in there. So... So that's that one. It's the front of it and then the back. So I got that one. And then I got this one. This is an aquamarine. And I was going to do a ring with this one. So I got that. Then <clears throat> I got some round ones. Uh, one is a red jade, smoky quartz, and a green jade. And these ones I'm going to put into rings as well. <laughs> and I did get a few of them. But uh, let's see here. So this one is the smoky quartz. Really, really pretty. And then we've got the, <clears throat> excuse me, the green jade. And 
and we've got the red jade nice cherry red so I was excited about those ones oh, I'm going to get away from me here <laughs> and then this one is a labradorite and I'm going to do a ring with it as well and this one oh this one is so pretty and hopefully you'll be able to see how beautiful this one is there's like some lines through it and I'm trying to get it to show if you can see it and then the other side but there's some uh, just the color to it it's just gorgeous so and of course the way it hits the light's different so that's the labradorite <clears throat> and then I got a green fluorite that I'm planning on doing a ring with as well so here's the green fluorite In fact, I'm trying to think of which way it was. It were, oh, shoot. <laughs> so tiny, I can't hold it in my hands. Hang on here. Uh, of course, it goes flying. I like this one in particular because it reminded me, I don't know, the inside of it kind of reminded me, you might not be able to see it on here, but of a tree because there's like a little straight part that goes up here and then you got this, but. You might not be able to see it in there. But anyway, so that's the green fluorite. <clears throat> and then I got some lapis. Lazuli. And I am going to make these into rings as well. Look at these out. And it was so much fun picking these out, guys. It was so neat. I mean, they had so many different kinds. It was, it was unreal. So this is one of them uh, the back is not as blue but uh, I loved that side of it so I got that one and I got that one flip it around okay then I got some bigger ones these are the ones I'm going to use for pendants <clears throat> for necklaces this one is sodalite and hopefully I'm saying these properly there's one side of it and then the other side so I can't wait to get into wrapping these so I gotta get on the stick and <clears throat> figure out what I'm doing here and then um, this is rhodonite rhodonite I said that right and this one's really pretty too and then I'll flip it yeah so I am super excited to work with those and then I got an African turquoise <clears throat> which I really liked as well so there's that there's one side of it and then the other side of it and then <clears throat> last but not least um, agate agate an agate slice and this one I love not only the color but I love the layers to it so I thought this one was really pretty it's one side and you see you see all the different layers let me get closer I feel like I got like a glare or something on there and then the other side So I thought it was really pretty. So that's what I got. Um, and I was very excited about it. And I plan to go back when I get some more money because they have got so many 
awesome semi-precious stones and um their their assortment will blow your mind um it's in missouri here where i live and um but uh yeah i was so excited i'm so glad i remembered the place so now i can start going there a little bit more and spending some of my money there <laughs> <laughs> for a little bit and get something different that's not at uh, some of the other stores but uh, they do carry a lot of you know the same you know not necessarily the same stuff but the same brands and stuff so and more so all right guys well I'm going to get off of here I just wanted to show you that um, I will also be back tomorrow I believe I'm going to do a video tomorrow um, for my to uh, announce my uh, thousand subscribers yeah i was so excited you guys i was so excited um so i'm gonna be uh showing the basket with everything it has in it tomorrow um and put that video up so that we can get that moving so all right guys well thanks for watching i surely appreciate it if you're new please subscribe i would love to have you join me and for everybody else that's been sticking with me thank you thank you thank you and happy crafting have a great evening and stay safe all right guys bye